how's it going guys before we get stuck into this week's video we need your help um, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers I think we're halfway there anyway we want to hit the big 1k as soon as possible so we need your help if you can share this video share our profile with all your friends family anyone you know even if you don't know them that'd be great uh, share it down below grab the link send it to them and if you don't subscribe make sure you're subscribing get that bell on and that tells you whenever we upload a video um, and you can keep up to date with our travels around Australia um, and I might even when we get to a thousand subscribers actually get a haircut until then you'll have to wait all right, enjoy. So, so Megan's <laughs> just had a heart attack after shopping. Yeah, we had our first big grocery shop um, to get us ready for the gift. So we actually got a lot more meat and um, some veggies just to get us through like week one which probably pushed the cost up a little bit but still not too bad so the total expense for all like two weeks plus I would say of groceries um, came to $158.97 and then Joss just went to Marta 10 and found this little hose that hopefully he'll fix our fuel problems with. <laughs> it's a backup. Is it gonna work? It's, it's at the moment it's working. Just pulled into the broom visitor centre, just checking everything before we head off again and filling up our water tank, which you can do for free here, which is fantastic. We've just pulled out in front of the Gibb River Road sign. Just got a little pic. Um, we called into Derby uh, just to get some more fuel so that we're all prepared. Tonight we're just going down the road um, to, what is it called? Birdwood Downs. Birdwood Downs, um, so a cute little station stay. So we're gonna stay there tonight and then we're gonna tackle the Gibb tomorrow. We're gonna be taking it really nice and slow. Um, we've got lots of time to enjoy it. Um, we're thinking between 12 to 14 nights. Um, not really got much planned, just take it as it comes. Bring it on. We're only staying 12 k's into the Gibb River Road um, at Birdwood Downs Station, which is nice. It's really It's, cool. it's really nice. Um, but they're having a, it's called Strong Women, Strong Woman Gathering. Yeah. Um, it's obviously an indigenous um, event they've got tonight. Which is cool, we're gonna have a look at it soon. After yeah, they've got live music, drinks. they've got food stalls, they've got like an art gallery set up, um, and some markets. So yeah. we've just camped down in one of their paddocks they've got down here, and we'll take a wander up um, once we settle into our campsite. What's wrong with the fridge? I think it's just the doors come down a bit. So we've just arrived at Winjana Gorge, tiniest bit of corrugation this morning, and our fridge is scraping the bottom of the canopy. It's alright, it's an easy fix. Easy fix. We got here nice and early, it's about 10am, um, and we have found this really good little campsite um, that's really protected by all these trees, close to the toilets, and not too many neighbours. Um, and we've already had a glimpse of the cliffs and it's actually really impressive so far. What do you rate it? The gorge? Yeah. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 is pretty nice. And there's lots of little freshies.
<laughs> First four-wheel driving on the Gib and the river crossing. You! <laughs> That's very, very rocky. <laughs> Eight out of ten. So we've just arrived at the Bell Gorge car park. Um, we're going to do the Bell, uh, Bell Gorge trails. Um, the longest one's only, was it 2Ks return? Yep. So not very long. Um, I think it's a bit scrambly, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully go for a little swim, but we've got lots of time today, so we'll just enjoy it. How's the walk so far? Really good. Really, really good. Nice. It's had and lots of rocks. Lots of rocks. It's like we're walking in an old riverbed, which we are. <laughs> A uh, little stream on the side. Um, not difficult though, like maybe, would you say like a two out of five difficulty yeah. rating so far? Pretty standard. Pretty standard as long as you've watch, got. You just have to watch people. Yeah, <laughs> I've already rolled an ankle. Um, nothing major, but it is so pretty. It actually reminds me a bit of like the NT, like when we did um, Catherine Gorge. Yeah. It's nicer. This is nicer. That you're biased with the Kimberley. <laughs> So we just come to the end of the second trail. I can't remember what it's called. Bells Falls. Trail. Bells Falls or something like that. So that is like up there, um, but we've come all the way down the stream. We found this cute little waterfall here, and then I kept going all the way down to where you can see the water ending down there. And it is the most spectacular swimming hole. Um, it's massive, it's got massive cliffs like this, but even bigger, and a beautiful waterfall. So Joss and I just spent a little time um, down there. You can't uh, swim there. No. You can't well, get down to the big one. <laughs> I, don't I think you could probably jump off the waterfall because it looks like super deep, but obviously you don't know. And then it'd be a hell of a hike to get back up around the gorge, like back to where we are now. So we're just going to continue exploring. It is honestly so beautiful here. I'm rating Bell Gorge a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it is the first proper gorge slash waterhole we've been to on the gib so maybe that's why i think it's a 10 out of 10 but she's finally starting to realize how good the kimberley is yeah i'm starting to see what the appeal of the kimberley is it's honestly blowing my mind 